oh, he was trying to get that that Goku black. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> that tape me measure comes out. He knows the exact angles. Claw but machine. just like the rest of us, it takes him six or seven tries, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's the finals challenge. Dump yeah. the money in there. Street Fighter is just sort of a warm-up for the claw machine. The worst is when you put ten bucks in and you see the figure on sale for five somewhere and you're like, Yeah, well that's you know? how it is, but you yeah. want you wanna know you earned it. You yeah. beat the machine. It's not about the figure, it's about beating that. <laughs> no, I just want claw. the figure. I just yeah. want I, yeah, really? that's all it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, have, they have stores for that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's have you been in those stores? So they have these Japanese stores where you can get like if you fail to get the claw machine thing, you can go and pick it up or you know the little bubble machines that they see every place where they sell like Yeah, okay. Yeah, I here's you. fifteen versions of Mario's Cappy or whatever it might yeah, be. Yeah. Um the people who end, end up in those stores to try and complete their collection, there's like a shame face. It's like there's a, there's a shame stink yeah, cause they in those like, stores. They yeah, just got owned, and yeah. the, the person at the title station wouldn't help them. They wouldn't move <laughs> the box in the right position. You're like, come on, man, hook me up. No. They just won't do it. You're like, come yeah. on, man. Well, I, I'll take my business next door. Yeah. 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 yeah every Go five ahead, feet, loser. there's a title yeah. station. Yeah, it doesn't Tell it the door, hit you on the way out. Which, of course, it wouldn't because it's yeah, so beautifully it. orchestrated sliding doors. So. Yeah, you got to push the button. The worst is when you walk up to try to push the button and it's automated and you're like, you feel like such a buffoon. <laughs> you push a glass door. <laughs> what an idiot. Yeah. yeah, like everybody else looking at you. Like, These foreigners don't know how to work automatic doors. It's pretty low. Abigail, wow. talk about the uh, scale. Barely fitting on the screen. He's eight foot tall or something like I that. I don't, yeah. I'm not into the lore. Me neither. Quite as much. Look. Yeah, yeah, that makes a couple you are. of us. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a competition to see who's least into the lore. Yeah, I don't even know who this ahead. guy on the left so is. No. Some I sort of, uh, I call him Lino. <laughs> <laughs> never even seen him before. You got me. <laughs> he throws that, that key blast out of his hands. Never heard of it. But uh, an, uh, an interesting matchup for sure. I mean, the whoa. Oh, wow. He tried an early wow. counter. And the one thing you have to watch out for as Tokido is how early you get bullied on the ground here. He's, he's got to try to maintain this positioning, which he has not been able to do. Not at all. Uh, I do feel like Tokido's sort of trying to get the measure of how Storm Kuba's going to approach this. Pretty solid so far. It's a good mix of safe jabs and uh, a little bit more aggressive flips. And there he gets it. Yeah, a lot of damage. And he gets a, an excellent setup. That's after, the setup. Yeah. And connects. And that's, talk about excellent damage. Look at this. Yeah, you get scooped for your troubles, and that's what you eat. V-Trigger available for Tokido. He is running V1. We've seen him run V2 a little bit. All right, takes the risk. Nice follow-up. And almost meaningless on Abigail, right? Not Long a lot of damage. Go, yeah. oh. Powers right through. Brilliant timing. Thought there'd be a risk he'd get to the other side, but he's so big. Collision box keeps him on the right side, gets the grab, closes it out, round one. Round yeah, and he has one of the best uh, options to like throw tech uh, with EX run. It's, it's so powerful. He gets him out of a lot of situations like that. So, you know, Akuma is incredibly powerful in Demon Flip, but same kind of thing we're seeing here. And, Man, he's so tall, you hit him up on the high at the uh, the top of the head there, and you're not advantaged. It's the crush. Next to the throw, but again, it's just even now. Opti's going a little harder this round. Oh, oh he got him. Got him off the trigger activation. Yeah, no meter available, but still huge Look damage. This, this actually this. might be enough. Oh, oh humanity. With and humanity. It, and oh, it was even so he's close not looking to stun, him. too. Yeah. <laughs> he's, I mean, he feels a little bad about that one. He definitely yeah. does not. <laughs> yeah. He's got the smile of like. All grappler players exist to make you <laughs> miserable, right? That's the whole point. They don't care about. Storm Kubo doesn't want to win this tournament. He just wants to make that's, you upset. That's right. Yeah. That's a, I think uh, an unrecognized major motivation for playing fighting games. Yeah. One, one All grappler players are always like that, right? They, they always have that sort of mentality. If I can make you sad, I've already won. Yeah, Akuma just looks sort of sad and ineffectual, like just physically on screen. Yeah, next to this big boy. Oh, walked up and got the, the full punish. And again, I like the approach here from Takedo trying to go in, but Storm Kuba making great decisions. Counters. All right, risky uppercut from Tokido works out. Just takes the knockdown. The jump over, nice. Oh. But that risky uppercut, I think, is a tough look for Takedo, who realizes he does not want to go down. 2-0, but may just be on the verge of doing that. Oh, oh. red at that time. And still this jovial, like, laugh yeah. from Storm Kubo. Like, He's all right, like, I'll right. get you next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got 7,000 life. Don't worry about it. I'll be back. Yeah, they got. They should have put Monster Hunter. They should have put Abigail in Monster Hunter. He should have <laughs> put him up against the Rathalos. That would be more like Rathalos hunting Abigail. Yeah, it would. I like Abigail, to be honest. OK, catches him with the demon flip option. Oh, he's so close to Dizzy, but, but yeah. But he's just out. And now, will he have it? Should be it. All 
right? But not not quite dead. Uh, Tokido, even with yeah, just look at that life. It's they all look like jabs. And there, there it is. confirms the low forward. A much more controlled kind of game from Tokido, which is what he really needs in this kind of a matchup. From Kubo, not uh, not laughing quite. He flipped the phone open. I don't see a Suica card in there. Yeah. He's not traversing the train so easily. I like Tokido's eyes here, but I'm not. He, he still looks troubled yeah. deep inside. Like, there's still concern. You can, uh, I don't blame him. I would be concerned fighting this character, too. The damage output, the threat in any oh, moment. Yeah. Raw jump in. I like the way he was approaching it there, trying to switch it up with the fireballs. That's a pretty fake threat against. Oh, wow. Just gets it raw. Tried to make a last minute decision, maybe? All the way in the corner, this is a tough look. Storm Kubo playing it a little conservative here because he knows he's got such a major advantage. Yeah, and he's getting close to stun. No interrupt on that flip. That's it, that's it. And that is going to be that. Yeah, stun building a little bit of bar for himself as well. And Storm Kubo. Max bar, very clean. First round, answering back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that jovial look on his face. He is just so happy to be here. I'd be happy playing that character too, I think. Well, you can hear somewhere in the, the dark depths of Capcom, the Nerf hammer is like getting polished up right now. That's going to be a big yeah. hammer. <laughs> a couple of Abigails in this top eight. Oof. Walked up and got the EX uppercut. Tickles. Wow, from there, after the crouching short. And again. Oh, he was a little too far. Yep. Yeah, Tokido, it's not like he reacted, right? He was. No, he was just sitting there. Oh, this, this is so oh, bad. Backmates. Wait a minute, is There's he the, dead? I think he might be dead. I think he might be dead. I'm the crowd sure is going dead. nuts. The oh, stun at the end. Why? It's not right. It's not right for America. It's not right for Japan. Why did he have to be dead like that? One errant EX to Kido, clearly feeling the pressure. The EX uppercut goes wrong, and just like that, 60% of his paltry life right. on an unfinished combo. That's right. Yeah, and if you know if you're Tokido, like, he, he did the right thing. He tried a combo that didn't work out, and he missed an uppercut. Punitive. Uh-oh, armor's through, and the setup. Wow. wow, got him with the real hit. And got him jumping again. Tokido, he's on the back foot here, not challenging a lot of these giant flips. And Storm Kubo, the thing that scares me most, he's having fun. Yeah, he's, he's switching up the time. options. He's just throwing stuff out. Oh, he tried oh it. caught him. Yeah, it was a whip there. Command throw might kill. He's got to be so careful. Challenged again. Beat trigger activation, That's and that it. should be that. Wow. And just like that, it's going to be match point for Storm Kubo, who's having the time of his life. He realizes he's cracked the code on Abigail faster than everybody else, except perhaps Hitachi Zangief, who's also figured it out. Yeah, and Tokido, he's trying to control himself here, but it's such a dangerous character to fight against. You have to make the right decision every time. And I like it. He realizes he's going to have to go in hard, and finding a way to make that happen. Did not have the answer. Charge oh! up fierce. It's a trade. Tokido will take that. But not on the ground. Okay. These Storm big boy buttons are coming out. Yeah. Tokido cannot afford to be hit. No. Oh, wow. That was so patient was Tokido. Very close. Wins the air-to-air -air battle. And again, for how many right decisions Tokido has made in this match, you feel like he should have a bigger lead. But he doesn't, and he eats it. Damage is not massive just yet. Flying some time on that trigger, and it's just about to run out. Activates. Here it comes. Takes Didn't even air. try the uppercut juggle, and that actually should Might be the be round. It. Yep. Tokido putting one, and by one, I mean one round yeah. on the board. And this is right. What a dominant player. We've watched this guy play this weekend, just looking so confident, so in control. Takedo has. And now, looking a little lost against oh, Storm Kubo. And no. again, oh, catches a break there. Is this what he needs? Turn it around. Did he feel the crack? Oh, he caught him. Wow. Command throw in the corner. Bad news for Tokido. A couple of guesses could be the end of him here. Oh, oh. he went big. And this is going to be. He's, he's on. He's got V Trigger available. Is he going to cancel? Doesn't even Not use it just yet. Wow, cross cut, uppercut. Tokido still alive. There's the D trigger. He's about to, he's got demon available. We'll probably not kill him at this this uh Oh he faked it! He actually called out the jump there from the demon. He got him this time. Got him. Gonna connect. Tokido still proving 
his status as the champion. He's such a genius. He did the standing medium kick, which is like the demon setup to bait and him out. And then the jump air fireball, and he jumped right into it, thinking a demon would come, and then meaty demon right after. Immediately afterwards. Yeah, the decision making on that was just perfect. So he's not out of it yet. He's not, his mind is still there. His body is frail. Round yeah. <laughs> his body is frail. Uh, he's still down. But becoming more comfortable, which I think is an important part about this match. For sure. Definitely the tide is blowing in his direction. Storm Kubo going to have to actually just, okay. Saw coming, walk right out of there. Ooh. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of damage for Tokido there. And a trade, he'll take Good it. Challenge. Crushed out of the air. A little. Sets it up. Wow, and lands it. Yeah, he's just willing to take the guard break. Oh, no, the crush, big damage. Oh, no. Activates multiple he's hits. Gonna be able to, uh, yeah, break it. Kubo. And the meaty demon flip. Yeah, he's been hit by that a lot. The, the demon flip palm has caught him consistently. He might be jumping trying to get out of the demon flip throw. And the fact that that's connected as many times as it has is actually going to set up the other options even more powerfully as we're going into what might be Kido turning this all the way around. No call out on that uh, giant flip. He just keeps letting it go. Yeah, that giant flip has been oddly consistent for Storm Kubo, even in situations where it should. That maybe is what he's looking for, but hasn't found it until now. Yeah, he tried it once earlier, jump back jab, yeah. Escaping, didn't want to deal with whatever the and pressure I was crushed. Really didn't like that attempted command grab from Storm Kubo, looking a little bit too hungry there. Bait of the throw a little too late on that giant flipping through the EX Red Fireball. Oh, yeah, he's got him. Oh! No. He might be That's dead it. here. That's it's it. enough. Tokido, the murder face from the brink of disaster. Just whooping, and this is loser's bracket action, so that is the end of one of our two remaining